Hey guys, Kevin again with Mix Coach. Today I'm going to show you how to get more air out of a vocal if you don't want to EQ it anymore. Sometimes you keep adding EQ and it just gets brighter and more harsh and brittle. Sometimes what you just want is just a little more air and I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to use all stock DigiDesigns plugins. So you can be using a different kind of DAW and uh, still get the same effect using the stock plugins that you get. Okay, let's listen to a little bit of this just the way it is. Not you can hear the music folks play from Muscle Shoals down to Mobile Bay. Okay, what I'm going to do is add an exciter. Um, a few years ago, several years ago, Aphex came out with a thing called an RL exciter. And really the what it did was it distorted the high frequencies which made it sound more bright. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, before I go into this, I'm going to tell you that I've got all these presets for you at Mixcoach if you want to come and get them. Just uh, follow the link at the bottom of this video and uh, and you should see exactly how to do it. Okay, this is three things. It's an EQ and what we did on the EQ, let's just uh, let's go back to the factory default and I'm going to show you what I did. First thing we did was we put a shelf about, uh, about 9 dB and this shelf, just pull it on down here because the thing we do next is going to adjust where this is, uh, adjust where it actually shelves at. So this is the frequent, the uh, volume or the gain of the shelf matters. This, the frequency of it doesn't matter as much because what we're going to do, and you have to do this with an EQ7 band because the rest of them don't have the the high pass filter. So we're going to turn the high pass filter on. We're going to turn this, the Q, all the way up, or either either there 18 dB or 24 dB probably 18 dB will work best and then we're going to run this shelf all the way up to we'll adjust this later okay so that's what I did I'm going to pull up the preset that I showed you it's called Mix Coach Exciter EQ3 7 band okay that's where we left it last time okay now the next thing we did was a low is lo-fi and what we're doing with lo-fi is we're actually distorting I actually went through several different ways to distort uh, and you can pick whichever way you like the best. We actually use the air that you get stock with Pro Tools. We actually use even a couple of amp modelers, and none of them worked as well as the stock DigiDesign plugin. Okay, what we're doing is we're just adding distortion. You can uh, adjust the noise as you want to, but um, so let me go back to the factory preset, and you can see what we did. This is the way you'll get it from the factory when you pull it up, and this is the way it'll look when you uh, pull up the mix coach lo-fi okay so we'll close that and the next thing in line is the compressor limiter now we've got it pretty much set up in limiting mode because the ratio is 100 to 1 now you can be a little bit more subtle if you want to but we decided to go ahead and use it as a limiter and then you know we've got the the gain pretty low so that any pretty much any signal that comes through is compressed or limited Okay, now the other, only other thing you need to check out, if you don't come and get the presets, that's cool too, but it'd be easy just to come and get the presets. But one thing we did was we flipped the phase of this because when I was hearing it back, I was hearing that, uh, that there was some, some high frequency phase uh, cancellation going on. So we flipped the phase and it seemed to correct it. So remember to do that or at least listen to it that way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this to the exciter we're going to set the everything back the way it was. Now I want you to hear the vocal without it first and then I'm going to put it in. It's a very subtle change but if I can put a little side note in here I think great mixing is a lot of little things done well. It's not any one thing that you do that makes it a great mix. It's a lot of small things done well and you, the longer you are a mixer the more subtle and the more small things you'll do that make your mix pretty much untouchable. So this is no major life-changing uh, tweak that you can do to a vocal, but it is an option and it's something to have in your toolbox or in, in your playbook from Mix Coach. How's that? Okay, we're going to listen to it without the exciter first and then listen to it with. Not you can hear the music folks play. Now I'm going to put it in. Not you can hear the music folks play. Okay. So you can see that it's pretty subtle, but it does add some air, and it 
it helps it to cut through a track. I'm gonna turn the track on and then we'll listen to it with and without. This is without. Not you can hear the music folks play. With not you can hear the music folks play. So you see it adds a little bit of air to the vocal. Okay, now this is set up post fader and this the exciter return is actually I've got it uh if you hold command and press the solo button it solo saves it so that way when you mute this this goes away when you push the volume up the volume of the return goes up accordingly so it's a it's a consistent sound so set it up just like a like you would a reverb uh and this will also work I've heard it work on pianos if you need a little bit more of uh brightness from piano but you don't want to brighten it up with EQ only uh, it also work with strings it'll work with keyboard pads whatever you want to so come over to mix coach and I'm gonna leave this whole session there and I'm gonna leave the presets for you too so there you go a way to brighten up your vocals without using uh, a ton of EQ so I'll see you tomorrow bye